Are you worried about the rising interest rates that keep to keep going up and up and up and have no end in sight? I get it. Rising interest rates can tempt buyers to hold off on their plans to purchase a home, and it can drive sellers crazy as they get caught in an endless cycle of price reductions and concessions and so on and so forth. It can be very difficult, and with everything going on, it makes it hard for both buyers and sellers. But have you heard about the two-in-one buy-down? It's something that a lot of sellers are using. Buyers can get it and know that their payments are going to be at a level of X to begin with. They're going to go up, but they know exactly how much they're going to go up and when they're going to go up. Sellers can use it as an alternative to dropping the price over and over again, while at the same time offering an incentive to get more people to look at their home and consider it for purchase. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Zahn with EXP Realty and Mike Zahn Homes. And if you like what you see in this video, drop us a comment in the comment section down below. Who knows, maybe we'll do a video about your particular question and you can be sort of famous. <laughs> Anyhow, without any further ado, let's get started. So the market is shifting and buyers and sellers need to get creative if they want to get together and make a deal on the home that the seller wants to sell and the buyer wants to buy. And this is where the 2-1 buy down comes in. The 2-1 buy down basically works like this. It lowers the interest rate in the first year of the loan by 2%. It lowers the interest rate in the second year of the loan by 1%. In years three through 30, it reverts to the normal fixed rate for that loan. But buyers will know exactly when their payments are going up and exactly by how much. And sellers get to get their home sold. So let's look at a real world example to see how this exactly works. So if, for instance, you bought a $500,000 home with a standard 6.5% interest rate right now, your payment will be lowered by 2% the first year. So instead of paying 6.5%, your payment will be about 4.5%, and your monthly payment will be about $2,400. Now in year two, your payment goes from 4.5% to 5.5%, so your monthly payment raises to about $2,700. But in year three, you go to the normal interest rate of, say, six and a half percent and your payment will be about thirty two hundred dollars now keep in mind i'm not a mortgage broker and so i can't give mortgage advice but this is a rough example of what it would be like in the event that you were to, to use a two one buy down for exact numbers on your specific situation contact your mortgage lender and if you don't have a mortgage lender contact us because i've vetted some mortgage lenders over the years and i've got some great people that i can hook you up with so what does this mean for sellers for the 2-1 buy-down? How does it help the seller? Well, basically allows the seller to expand the pool of potential buyers by offering something that other sellers aren't willing to offer. As homes sit longer on the market, buyer demand continues to soften. You're gonna to have to do something as a seller. As of this video, sales are down 29% year over year. That's a big drop. Sellers are either going to have to take large price reductions and chase the market down, or you're gonna to have to potentially spend money to make your home updated and fresh to generate a larger pool of buyers. That's if you're looking for top dollar for your home. This can get pretty costly though. So let's use the example above of say $500,000. If a seller is willing to do a, a closing cost credit for a buy down, in this case, it would cost, as I said, around 15, 18, dollars $20,000. The way a buy down is calculated is it's the difference in the monthly mortgage payments for year one, plus the difference in the monthly mortgage payments for year two. In, in our example, if a seller were to offer 15, $18,000 credits to the buyer, this could avoid a big price drop and potentially chasing the market. It could also avoid the need to update the home and make it more current and more updated and more remodeled than it currently is. It can cost $20,000 just to put down a new floor and you haven't even touched the cabinets or the countertops or painted it or any of those other things. So in the long run, it can actually be a cheaper option for a seller. So in our example, if a seller were to offer a $15,000 or $18,000 in credits to the buyer, they could avoid doing a big price drop or a costly update on their home or chasing down the market. It's a win-win, buyers save and sellers save. So this is just a straightforward way to entice buyers to consider your home. They pay at or near the asking price, get the two one buy down rate, and you don't have to update or make major price cuts. Everybody wins. Your home can sell quicker or more, and the buyer has a lower interest rate and can afford more right now. So if you're a busy professional looking to relocate to the Phoenix area or buy a new home here, 
give us a call here at Mike's on Homes at EXP Realty. If you want to know how this applies to your specific situation, go in our description below, book a call with us on our Calendly link, and I'd be happy to discuss your specific situation. In the meantime, you can search for homes at our updated website. It's updated every five minutes, and the link is right here. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.